Alrighty guys, welcome back. Last episode we <clears throat> were a dick to fr to Sam and sent him away and then we got him back at the end. So yay! So yeah, we swap to Haragon, son of Haragon. Whatever they call him these days. Just travel a million miles to the narrow. On the white mountains. Because the journey to Minas Tirith is long and hard. Oh, wait. I know I shouldn't poke fun, but it's, it's just funny how it's like, oh no, it's so far away. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Laylos is drowning. He's fine. Take my leave. <laughs> my Lord Elrond, you're outnumbered, Aragorn. You need more men. There are none. There are those who dwell in the mountain. The answer to no one. They will answer to the King of Gondor. 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 Flame of the West, forged from the shards of Narsi. A man who can wield the power of this sword can summon to him an army more deadly than any that walks this earth. Put aside the ranger. Become who you are born to be. What kind of army would linger in such a place? One that is cursed. Long ago, the men of the mountain swore an oath to the last king of Gondor come to his aid to fight but when the time came when Gondor's need was dire they fled vanishing into the darkness of the mountain and so Isildur cursed them never to rest until they had fulfilled their pledge the way is shut it was made by those who were dead Shroud of mist. So now we have Andoril, so we can now smash Morgul blocks. <clears throat> and just because I like to give a little bit of trivia now and then while we're playing. The way the movie portrays it when Aragorn's Andoril in the third, um, <clears throat> in the third film, actually not happened. He actually in the book, so what the original plot was, he actually gets it in the Hobbit. And I'm probably saying, oh no, he if, if you watch, he gets it in the third one. He does in the movie, and if you're going by the movie not accurate, that's not right because the book, the book was written in 19 like in like the 1940s around that era. So, and the movie came out 2009, something like that, 2008. So, personally, I wish 
they have been summoned. That they made movies to more action movies, so that's just my opinion. So we can do all fancy kind of shiz now with this. Because in the um, cause in the movies, even with the lead team, is a part where they show like the gifts that the um, <clears throat> the fellowship got from Galadriel, and you know, the Mary and Pippin. I always call twins, but they're just cousins or best friends, whatever it is. Got given the elven daggers. Legless got given the bow of the Galadriel. Gimli got given some of Galadriel's hair. Sam got the rope, and Frodo got the um, glass vial. In the book, that all still happens, except Boromir's gift. He gets a elvish belt, and Aragorn actually gets a sheath or anvil. Wheel, so that's just a, just a little bit of a trivia for you there. You're probably like, yeah, you know, SDFU inside the game, please. But just thought I'd share that with you. You just want to share that with you? Maps bar. Go. Message on my phone. Alright, text message. Oh yeah, and the un when these undead soldiers do pop up, you can only use Aragorn to kill them because everyone else is just like, Err, undead soldiers, meh. Can't. Which is annoying me because you like get over it, they're dead soldiers. What was annoying me? Something to do. Sorry, I just realised. Our dead soldiers are coming out, oh, we can't defeat them. So, oh. I think I've got to be Gimli. Ah. 
don't worry. Yeah, get it out. Smashy. See, normally Aragon annoys me, Black Friday. Actually, not. It doesn't annoy me that much. He annoys me a little bit more than the third baby. He's like, I'm the king, man. And yes, that is the most accurate impression of Aragon there is. Man, I'm the king, man. Look at me. I got a shard, man. It was broken, but now it's fixed, man. Lego walls. Hello. That's not the best looking bridge I've ever seen, Legos. Do not look down. Some of the swap people are like, Mer, I'm gonna told you, Mer. Oh, I didn't realize it was a building thing, I just love that music. I don't know, because I actually have a Lego, like, legless character in, like, IRL. And he, you can't put a quiver on him because the way his elf hair sits, so... Which I think is a bit of a stupid designer flop. Because it's the same with um, Howdy, because they have the same hair. Because I bought a Howdy as well. When I um <clears throat> I bought the Hobbit set where you get Keely and Dealey, so I think it's just the Merkwood Spider set, and they wear a quiver, but because they've got the long hair, but they've actually designed the hair so it sticks out a little. It sort of looks almost wavy, so it sticks out a little bit, but so you can just lift with the quiver and it fits really nicely. So I'm like, why don't you do the same design thing with Legolas? Crazy. Wrong character. I don't know why I'm playing with Gimli more. He's my, my favorite character. He's just awesome. He's like, Mar, I'm Gimli, Mar. See, that was a pretty accurate Gimli. <laughs> Killing me, that's not nice. Can't do that. Uh, See, Eggless is like a little dainty prince boy, and he can't do that. Can I shoot that down? No.
Mine is a Gimli Hall you make. Yes, I just called it a Gimli Hall. That is the political term. Alrighty guys, I'm going to have to pause, uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, I'll be seeing you tomorrow.